morning. Just checked into new Airbnb here in Osaka, Japan. That was a crazy little Airbnb check-in. They, you have to go to the family mart a block away and there's this little automation machine. You type in your confirmation number and then take a picture of your passport, type in all your information and then you, it does a video call with like some call center who like verifies who you are and then they give you a pin code to enter to open the box to get your key. Anyway, in Japan, I really, I like and I respect their ahead of the curve automation. It's cool, I'm all into automating things as a digital marketer, etc., etc. Anyways, uh, yeah, they really don't wanna do the mundane, repetitive human tasks, right? That one idea is a very central theme of the four hour work week, which is a book. And that's pretty much why I'm here. That book pretty much launched off my digital nomad career about four and a half, almost two months away from five years blasting off to uh, Chiang Mai, Thailand to go to that e-commerce conference. Um, and yeah, anyways, that's basically how I am able to be here as a digital nomad as the mic falls off and um, through just kind of being based out in these digital nomad popular places. Chiang Mai, Bangkok, Saigon, Bali, which is where I'm heading in a couple days. I'm just on a quick stop over here in Osaka, Japan, because why not? Anyway, digital nomad life, digital nomad vlog. All I know about today is I'm about to hit up a Starbucks as I usually do to get some work done. <clears throat> and then don't really have much planned. Wasn't even really planning on vlogging, but honestly, it's more comfortable to keep my camera in my hand instead of in my backpack because it's so heavy. Osaka, Japan, America, one world. Um, if I can get this freaking key out of the door. Um, let's see what we can go get up to in Japan. That is my building. This is my street. So this right there is a hotel that I stayed in when I was on the way from Bali to here. We did a week here. So if you haven't seen those, I was with Danny in Kyoto for three days and here for Four days on the way uh, back to Seattle so if you're flying from Southeast Asia back to the States or that direction Japan is a great option to stop because it's pretty much the shortest flight you can get from Asia to America stopping over in Japan and why not stop in Japan if you haven't been yet uh, it's not cheap that's for sure the Airbnb that I just showed you is about 50 a night and this hotel here was about 60 a night um to get a solid hotel it's gonna be like less than 40 bucks a night in this main area which is like dotonbori area is gonna be hard to find of course there's lots of capsule hotels and hostels that you can get if you're really bootstrapping for like 15 to 20 bucks a night, uh, but there's a very big uh, wide variety of capsule hotels all around here and the um, The little apartment Airbnb that I stayed at the past couple nights wasn't as big as the one I had now and that was also 50 a night So um, yeah, beautiful day. Let's get it. So what we're entering now is like called Dotonbori Which I would be considering like the touristy area it's kind of this beige out area, um, just pure square blocks, just like this. It's just a pure grid. And um, I would also consider this, some people said red light district, I don't know. But all, I, all that I do know is there's a bunch of those little bars. There's like all these buildings and there's like floors and floors of bars and some of them are like lady bars um, some of them are karaoke I'm sure some of them are like strip clubs but um, yeah that's that's this area there's just so many just like buildings of buildings of bars and clubs and restaurants and like small little places it would take a lifetime to explore 
this area and this is just the side skirts of it we'll we'll keep going and this this right here is a automatic parking lot you park in there and it takes your car up there and then you put in the code to get your car back some shit like that i was actually filming this from the outside last time here's the gentleman's club it actually looks really fucking sick uh if you see their promo video from the outside but yeah here's one i'm just fascinated by these signs it's just like floors and floors and floors of bars and bars and bars and bars and bars and then down here floors and floors and floors and floors of bars and bars and bars and it just keeps going it's just endless man that way that way philippines club pretty girls so what they have actually is a lot of these where it's male hosts and it's basically yeah for the ladies you go and they're basically yeah coming up to the main river of osaka this is what it looked like most popular street food is takoyaki which is these little balls here you can see them making them there they are like dough balls with octopus inside very good stuff very good stuff so when I was here last time, last month, it was gray and now it's sunny and everything's better when it's sunny. So I was really hoping that it was going to be sunny. So I'm happy about that guys. Uh, now continuing to Starbucks which is in the, in the mix of everything. This, is, this row right here is like seafood, takoyaki, street food, fucking row. This is a store of just coin machines. Just these little souvenirs, the whole store. It's basically takoyaki heaven around here. Endless takoyaki. This is takoyaki song. The takoyaki song, it is just wow. The tonbariyaki soba, beef fried rice, ramen, chicken curry ramen, beef omelet on rice. Um, they also have original gyoza, um, original gyoza, deep fried chicken. No, honestly, I'm pretty hungry. Um, it's about Oh, what time is it? It's about 11.18 only? Oh my god, but I'm hungry and holy shit, this shit looks bomb right here. This shit looks bomb right here, dude. Dumplings on flame. They got some flame That's it. Oh, we got it already. Sauce selection here. Welcome to Sauce TV. Oh my god. Look at that. Whatever this is. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. Oh. Okay. Best dumplings ever. Should just buy her. 
Got the ramen. Trying to pull it plain broth. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. I've had several ramen uh, in both of these Japanese trips. Have not had the katsu ramen. So this is looking very fire. Got a nice bite, chili sauce, katsu. Just gonna tell you how it is. Mm. 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 Oh, the chili sauce is fire, but the katsu ramen. I mean, we know about it. Japanese food worldwide. Let's go. And I love how in Japan they always have moist towelettes on deck. Bye bye! So, I didn't follow my number one own rule test Wi Fi before you buy coffee. The wi Fi here is barely fast enough to play a simple Casey Neistat vlog. Loading on 480p. By the way, um, Casey Neistat, by the way, obviously one of the top three channels influencing this whole vlog thing. Okay, number one, obviously. But I've been following Casey Neistat way before the vlogs. We're talking years and years and years ago. And um, that's one of the... Okay, he's the number one person that influenced me to do this whole uh, vlogging thing. Inspiring. I would say Fun for Louie is number two. Um, so those two guys, me and Parker used to watch all those vlogs just uh, getting hyped up about wanting to travel five years ago. Okay, now I'm just gonna have to shove this and uh, go to Starbucks because this Wi-Fi is no bueno. Honolulu coffee. You ever heard of it? Good view though. By the way, on my last Osaka nightlife vlog, we raged here and also here. Club called Giraffe. I recommend it. It's a four-story club. And also this one is awesome as well. And this is a Ferris wheel that I went on before too. Check it out on the previous Osaka vlogs. And that's where we're going now. Here we go. that I start that was I don't remember what time I started but I'm gonna guess I just banged out four hours right there how long was that ago that was oh wait I got to Starbucks at 12 30 it is now 505 so solid session I would say that's pretty typical Usually I bang workout in chunks of like two to four hours at a cafe. S Starbucks happens to be one of the most common cafes in the world slash coffee shops. So that's where I happen to do a lot of work. And uh, a couple hours and then go to the gym, which is what I'm about to do right now. Earlier in the day, I stumbled upon a CrossFit gym. So that's where we're heading right now. And then if this were a normal work day, in the evening I would go back to a cafe or a co-working space to work for another two to four hours. So on average, like on a work week, I work like six hours a day on average. I average like 30 hours a week. On That's on the laptop, laptop open in case you're curious about digital nomad life. 
But of course, the best part about it is you get it done on your own time and you can take days off whenever you want. Look at this right here. Look at what I'm looking at. Some takoyaki action. So I always try to think back about what I did. So over that four hours, like you might be wondering, what did I do? And what do I do? I don't know if I mentioned this. And I do know that 80% of views are non-subscribers. So a good chunk of those, it's your first time watching any of my videos. So you have no idea what I do. Uh, I have three companies. One is uh, selling my own products on Amazon. One is my Amazon agency. And the third is uh, this YouTube channel. So what did I do? I worked on my Amazon agency. I replied to customer uh, inquiries via Upwork. I started this about eight months ago. Still at the very early stages of the agency. And for my own personal product, I worked on some graphic design stuff. And I went on Fiverr.com and chatted with a couple different uh, graphic designers to make 3D renderings of products. Also chatted with uh, one of my go-to Indian interns, shout out Asish, uh, doing some Photoshop stuff. And then, what else did I do? Um, yeah, that was it. So, Amazon products, working on Amazon products, lots of graphic design stuff, Work, worked on that stuff. Yeah, so for the past four years, uh, selling products on Amazon has been my full-time income to allow uh, us to work from anywhere. Um, yeah, there's lots of bikes in Japan. I like that. Lots of bike riders. What's kind of weird is there are lots of bikes, but there are no shared bikes. Like the ones you get with the app. Am I wrong? What's the deal? Why? I don't know. Let me know. By the way, I love this H2. Tricked out. Speaking of Amazon. Shout out Amazon.com. Making that moolah every day. That's like a, that's kind of cool. Look, it's a guy on a takoyaki boat in Osaka with, that is Osaka Castle. Anyway, this is how you go in. Shoes off, of course. This is the toilet. Always in a separate room, little closet, which is good. Bathroom. Little washer. Shower and bath, same thing. And like I said before, this one is 50 bucks a night. It's actually got four beds, but it was, yeah, it was the best option I could find. On booking.com, couple of mildly interesting things I just saw. What a place for a knife rack and Never seen a garbage like this. Look at that. Recycling sectioned out cans, bottles, non-burnable, and blank. Check out this view. A little sunset. Save you, cause I need to be safe too. <laughs> By the way, that's the fucking cut. Post mother freaking Malone, are you? Come on, he just doesn't stop with the cuts. That's the fucking cut. Anyway, that's what I am bumping right now on the way to CrossFit, which is right around the corner. It's 5.57, I got three minutes to get there. And um, that's the cut, but you know one thing as a nomad is you gotta get good at goodbyes because Plies says goodbyes more than the average cat. But it's all worth it. 
Mm -hmm. Also got Muay Thai in there. Let's go. Next to CrossFit. So I was walking this morning from my earlier hotel to here. Here it is. You know by the Reebok sign always. CrossFit Dinami Osaka. Love how they got all the shirts from around the world. Just finished. That was three rounds. Three rounds of full, <coughs> full intensity. Ten minutes. I gotta stop talking. Start, start stretching. Oh, I'm cramping. Alright then Sean. Peace bro. Peace. Yeah. Good work. Um, check them out. Just Google it. CrossFit Minami. Yeah. How long have you been training here or coaching here? Uh, four and a half years this place has been open. Four and a half years. So it's getting there. Yeah. Nice. Is the Bangkok Throwdown, is that going to be a training ground, do you know? I think that is a training ground. Yeah. yeah. That's big. One of, yeah. one of my home uh, boxes. Oh really? So yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to head there. I didn't qualify but I'm going to head there anyway. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I've been based in uh, Chiang Mai and Bangkok oh, nice. and uh, recently in Bali. So. Oh, so you're used to this, uh, this heat. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm used to just being drenched like I am now after watts. It's pretty normal. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate See it. See you guys. Peace. Woo. This is so sick. All of these CrossFit wad shirts or CrossFit gym shirts. It's the most I've ever seen. Right next to a training martial arts gym, CrossFit worldwide. All right. Oh, I need me one of these. Right there. Anyway, official review. Um, great wad. I mean, CrossFit, you're, you're guaranteed one thing, and that's to get a great sweat in. Um, great Australian coach named Sean. He's been there four and a half years. Uh, good bunch. Solid gym. Solid CrossFit worldwide. 30, 30 US for a drop in and the monthly rate. I didn't catch it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Mm hmm. Cozy Cafe. It is Saturday, 10.33 in the morning. Just was walking on the way to Starbucks, saw this cozy cafe advertising iced coffee, and it's very fresh. Oh my god, we have Eclipse triple digit upload speeds. That's what we like to see, folks. Anyway, Saturday, start the day with coffee, work as always. Hotel lobby, okay. Um, Something crazy just happened. <laughs> it's 4.35. I walked in there at 10.30. There's no way I was in there for six hours. <laughs> Honestly, I'm laughing right now. <laughs> that flew by so fast. Oh my gosh. Um. And something actually did crazy happen in there. I was working on like the normal Amazon stuff, but uh, Parker texts me like, we just got charged $2,000 by AWS, which is Amazon Web Services. Like for some shit we had no idea that we were even signed up for. Um, anyway, so I had a phone call with like their support. And uh, wow, six hours, oh my God, Saturday. Um, okay, great start. Banged out tons of work. Looks, look, look, just look at that. Look at where we're at right now. 
in freaking Japan. Anyway, that was an awesome, cozy work cafe session. Now, um, I am hungry, hungry, hungry. Thank you, coffee bar. It's called this. It's right here, Floral Hotel Chinsabashi. <laughs>